Convention goers and protesters alike will be packing into Dallas this week for the NRA's annual meeting, and businesses are hoping to cash in. CBS 11's Diana Rocco is live at the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center with a breakdown of the potential economic impact. Diana. Well, Russ, good morning. If you're headed to Dallas for dinner this weekend, it's safe to say you're going to need a reservation. The signs are already up this morning outside the convention center for the 147th annual meeting of the NRA, which is scheduled to start tomorrow. And with the president and vice president coming to town on Friday, police have been working overtime. The city is getting ready for 80,000 convention goers and thousands more protesters. Many businesses are anticipating a very busy weekend for them. The convention is expected to bring in about 42 million in revenue to the city. 22,000 hotel rooms are sold out and restaurants say they expect to be twice as packed. I would say a good weekend for us without a convention would be 150 to 200 dinners. Uh, we might see 250 to 300. Uh, staff the restaurant and you order more product. No, last thing you want to do is have somebody come in and you're out of steak. And so far, there are three scheduled protests this weekend. Dallas police will be unveiling their safety plan at 10 o'clock this morning. We're live in Dallas. I'm Diana Rocco, CBS 11 News.